Book One, Chapter Five, A Forest Bedroom. I wasn't at all equipped to spend a night in the wilds of the forest. Anastasia put me to bed in some kind of cave, hollowed out of the ground. Exhausted after my wearing trek, I quickly fell fast asleep. When I woke up, I felt a sense of bliss and comfort, as though I were lying in a magnificently comfortable bed. The cave or dugout was spacious, appointed with small feathery cedar twigs and dry grass, which filled the surrounding space with a fragrant aroma. As I stretch and spread my limbs, one hand touch a furry pelt, and I determine at once that Anastasia must be something of a hunter. I move closer to the pelt, pressing my back to its warmth, and decided to have another little snooze. Anastasia was standing in the entranceway to my forest bedroom. Noticing I was awake, she said at once, "May this day come to you with blessings, Vladimir, and you should, in turn, greet it with your blessing. Only please do not be frightened." Then she clapped her hands, and the pelt. I was horror-struck at the realization that this was no pelt. Out of the cave, a huge bear began to gingerly crawl, receiving a pat of approval from Anastasia. The bear licked her hand and began lumbering off into the forest. It turned out that she had placed some belladonna herbs under my head for a pillow. And made the bear lie down beside me so I wouldn't get cold. She herself had curled up outdoors in front of the entranceway. Now, how could you do such a thing to me, Anastasia? He could have torn me to shreds or crushed me to death. First of all, it is not a he, but a she bear. She could not possess. She could not possibly have done anything to harm you. Anastasia responded. She is very obedient. She really enjoys it when I give her tasks to carry out. She never even budged the whole night. Just nuzzled her nose up to my leg and just kept blissfully still. She was so happy. Only she did give a little shooter when you wave your arms about in your sleep and slap her backside.